Hi, this is Phil from RetroGamesNews.com. Um, for this video, I want to do um, it's a combination of a review and also uh, a tribute. Um, the game is The Lords of Midnight um, on the ZX Spectrum. Um, the author, Mike Singleton, who unfortunately died uh, in October 20th, uh, 2012. Uh, he was only 61 years of age, which uh, you know these days there's no real age to die. Uh, he died of cancer, unfortunately. Um, this is a game that I had an awful lot of fun playing as a kid uh, on a friend's uh, spectrum, and uh, it was a real, um, a real triumph of te you know pushing the the spectrum to its boundaries. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. But um, uh, this game was originally released um, back in the fall uh, by Beyond Software House. Uh, it's available on the ZX Spectrum, uh, Commodore 64, and also the Amstrad CPC. Um, it spawned a couple of uh, sequels. Um, there was Doom Dark's Revenge. Um, and then there was going to be a third in the series called The Eye of the Moon, which, for whatever reason, um, never got released. Uh, there was a later game uh, available on the on the PC but it didn't sort of directly tie to the uh, original series so this essentially is um, kind of a, a war game a stroke adventure game um, you start off with four characters called Luxor the Moon Prince Rawthorn the Wise Call of the Fate and also Morkin um, obviously there's uh, you, you can kind of draw parallels with Lord of the Rings um, but I'm guessing they didn't uh, have the rights to to use the official kind of movie title so it's probably about as close as possibly get to it um, but additional to the four main characters that you start off with uh, you have the option also to recruit an, a further 28 characters that you can use to join your campaign and essentially the aim of the game is to battle through uh, through the landscape attacking walls trolls warriors to defeat uh, the evil wall or doom duck um, hence the uh, hence the sequel Doom Dark's Revenge. Now interestingly enough you can tackle the game in uh, various ways. You can either play it as a pure war game just trying to you know um, battle through the armies um, sort of steamrolling your way to the end um, or additionally you can destroy the Ice Crown. Um, again I'm guessing that that's kind of a I suppose that's the equivalent of the uh, of the ring within Lord of the Rings. Um, or you can kind of do a combination of the two. So, you know, you could really decide how you play this game. And from what I understand, um, there are um, still communities now who like to discuss on forums different ways that you can actually beat the game um, using various of the different strategies. And you have to understand, you can see from the, um, from the gameplay here, it really was ahead of its time because um, you, you could essentially look in any eight directions of the compass and you could work out um, to some degree whereabouts you were within the landscape just by looking at the, uh, the mountains, the, the, uh, the forests uh, and, and, uh, uh, and the buildings as well. Now uh, there was a, a rough sort of map that came with it, with the uh, with the box itself. But most people um, prefer to do their own sort of mapping, um, so you could uh, see a lot more accurately what was going on. Um, now the other thing, uh, talking of technology, the the game apparently was finished quite a way before um, it was due to be released, um, but Mike just couldn't quite squeeze that last little bit in. Uh, into the game so he had to rewrite it um, taking out all of the sound and instead using the last few K of uh, memory from the sound um, to complete the actual game. Um, now as you can see from the gameplay I, I I was never really that good at this game in the first place this is something that you'd have to really sit down and, and work out what's going on but um, you can see you can choose the different characters um, and you sort of go through the landscape and you'll come across various creatures or uh, again warriors and things and you sort of decide whether you want to fight them or whether you want to hide um, you can also search uh, within the different locations um, so uh, I, I mean this is a game that even today you would have um, it would find very challenging and uh, still a lot of fun to play as well um, so a bit more about Mike himself 
Mike Singleton, he originally was a, an English teacher um, and uh, he was born uh, in 1951. Um, he was a teacher in Cheshire within England, um, so I'm, I'm making an assumption that was where he was originally from, although of course that may be incorrect. Um, if, you, if you do know any different, then by all means let me know in the comments below. Um, and he started out, he first discovered sort of programming uh, on the Commodore PET. And the first thing he ever wrote was a sort of simulation game, which apparently was going to be used in a, in a betting shop. Um, and then from there he moved on to the uh, VIC-20 and of course, as we know, the, uh, the ZX Spectrum. Um, later on he went on to write um, some, some very popular titles for the 16-bit machines as well, uh, including the aforementioned um, kind of sequel to The Lords of Midnight called Citadel. Um, and uh, previous to that on the Commodore 64 he also got to write an official Lord of the Rings game uh, called War on Middle Earth. Um, something rather unfortunate was uh, pretty much at the time of uh, of Mike passing on, um, he was in the process of involved with um, porting this game uh, to the iPhone, sorry, to the uh, well, iPhone and iPad. Um, <clears throat> and you can actually see a, a great demo of this on uh, on YouTube. Uh, I'll post a link to that uh, to that video um, in the comments here. So um, I'm kind of hoping that it's still going to be released because it looks absolutely fantastic. Slightly modernised but um, staying faithful to the original. So um, check this game out, absolutely fantastic um, even to this day. Uh, and it's, got, it's still got a very big fan base. Uh, I'm going to give this uh, a rating of 97%. Thanks so much for watching. Speak soon.